Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's about 20 to 1. It is the second day of January 2016. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's to everybody that I did not manage to communicate with over the over the last few days. Um, so, Happy New Year to all of you. Um, and as you can see, it's about 38 degrees. This one says 3.6 degrees, 48% humidity. Yeah, the sun is semi out. You can see my battery's all charged right there. And the moon is moving away. Anyway, you know, here at the Horde, my metal of choice for doing a lot of the work I do is bed frames. And the reason why is, I guess, I don't know, 40 years ago I built a go-kart out of bed frames 45 years ago I built a go-kart out of bed frame and I thought it was the greatest thing in the world because bed frame has a tendency to twist and tore you, you know you could it, it's got some bend to it it's not completely rigid so I have a friend of mine who runs the curbs um, down in New Jersey actually and he uh, and he gets me bed frames whenever he sees them and you know right now if you scrap them out you're lucky to get a couple of cent a pound where in my case I'll give him quite a bit more than that I mean if I give him a dollar a bed frame right bed frame is I don't know a complete bed frame is 20 pounds um, if I give him a, a few bucks for it, you know, he's obviously, uh, much further ahead, right? Because at, uh, at 20, at two cent a pound, 20 pounds, you're going to get, you, you know, just not, you're going to get 40 cents, where if he gets a buck or two from me, he's obviously further ahead. Anyway, given that I'm always working with bed frames, I find that I frequently have to drill holes in them. And I'm always, always breaking bits and frustrating the heck out of myself. So what I decided to do was do a little um, testing on drill bits. I don't know if you guys have run across this Drill Hog USA. They, um, this guy, if you break any of these bits, you uh, send them back to him and he sends you new ones. So um, these are eighth inch. I use a lot of eighth inch bits and I ordered quarter inch and um, the eighth inch ones um, it, it was like uh, $15 for 12 bits the quarter inch ones are a little more expensive than that and then I you know these are the um, Harbor Freight Tenno and nitride ones I have a tendency to buy the whole kits when I have a coupon and I could get the whole box for 10 bucks, I like those. These are the more expensive um, Harbor Freight ones, the Cobalt ones, basically the same sizes as um, as as this, but um, Cobalt. And these are the um, these are the ones that go on sale. You get 10 pieces for two bucks, a buck 99, and they're an eighth inch. Anyway, what I did is I um, basically took a piece of um, angle iron bed frame, old rusty nasty piece, and um, I, and I just started drilling holes to see see how it would work. And I started with the drill hog stuff. Um, I used um, I I did oil the bit frequently, um, and I didn't really use cotton oil. I just used 2050, and I started drilling. And out of all of them, right, it's not a big surprise, they like the drill hog stuff the best. And the reason why is um, for all 50 holds, this put out like exactly the same, um, you guys could see all these, right? I mean, they were the most consistent at putting this out. Also, I didn't have to press as hard to get them to drill. And the first hole and the 50th hole drilled um, about the same. So, um, so the drill hog, if you can read my paper here, you know, when you, uh, when you have no sun, you don't like it. 
but uh, when you do have sun, it kind of messes things up too. Anyway, so the drill hog, I did um, 50 holds, uh, still sharp, did not break, and those drills cost me about a, a buck and a quarter each. The, um, the next one down um, is this uh, cheap... The, the cheaper, the whole kit from Harbor Freight. Um, I did, um, y you know, 50 holds. It didn't break, um, but if it, it felt like it was going to. It, it kind of, it was kind of grindy and catchy, and though I didn't break it, I stopped at 50 holds. I wasn't sure how many more I was going to get out of it before I broke. Anyway, you get the whole kit, and it's a little hard to say how much the Athens cost you out of the kit because the sizes go from, I think, a sixteenth all the way up to a half. But I just did the math, 29 bits, $10. They cost about 33 cents each. So they work, but, you know... You gotta oil the hell out of them. I put a little oil on the metal and drooled a little oil down the bit. Um, they they weren't they weren't um, too bad. I mean they 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 were okay. The ten ohm nitrides. The next one up are the cobalt ones, and they were expensive. Um, the kit was. Um, Fifty nine ninety five minus the twenty five um, percent coupon. So I just wrote fifty dollars for all of them because they normally don't get a twenty five percent coupon. You normally only get a twenty percent coupon. So anyway, let's call it fifty dollars for them. So they were buck sixty six. Um, on the first hole, I broke the eighth inch bit, um, and not for any good reason. It just it just kind of shattered. So, um, then I, I started drilling again, and on the 50th hole, the next size up from 8th inch, which was, I don't know, 5 64ths or something like that, um, it broke. So I broke um, two of those, and uh, when they broke, they kind of shattered. So, about the cobalt bits, um, these here, don't waste the extra money, um... They, they didn't seem very good. Um, once again, these functioned. These were seemed easy to shatter. Um, and if you're doing something like, you know, standing on a ladder trying to drill into angle iron that's, you know, over your head or something like that, uh, they're not going to hold up at all. I was doing everything in the drill press, you know, and I had the metal on a piece of wood and everything was good, and I broke them. So if if you're doing any hand drilling, these cobalt ones are uh, are about useless. I wouldn't go anywhere near them. Um, you, you, and when they shatter, I mean, they throw, particularly when the first one shattered, it threw quite a bit of material around so you, you know just picture you're once again drilling over your head and you know hanging on and pushing for all your worth and hopefully you're wearing your safety goggles but you know raining hot metal into your face and into your eyes is just not good so I would stay away from those harbor freight cobalt ones I I wasn't you, you know did I maybe I got a bad batch or something like that i don't know but they seem to brittle the word i'm going to use is brittle uh next one up i bought the um and I, I have a tendency to buy these because i normally start out drilling eighth inch and then eventually i break the eighth inch and i figured oh i'll just buy you know for two bucks i'll get 10 bits here and replace the eighth inch and keep my stuff all in good shape um, I managed to get 32 holds out of that, and it broke. Um, they're not as good, or at least this little package of Drill Master bits, they're not as good as these titanium nitride, you know, Warrior, Harbor Freight, whatever you want to call them. So, um, my conclusion, quite honestly... Um, I bought these, and I got the quarter-inch ones coming, and I did not buy the whole set, and I did not buy um, 
the step drills and I don't I don't see I don't see my little step drill package you, you know they're the ones they're kind of fluted where you you know you start off at like eighth inch and then it steps up to um, you know three sixteenths and it goes a little bit then it steps up to uh, four sixteenths which is what quarter you, you know what I mean it steps up by sixteenths or whatever those fluted bits I did not um, I did not buy any of those though I'm I'm strongly considering getting one from drill hog ordering maybe a couple of those for, from them just to make life easier because breaking bits is it's a pain in the neck and especially I kind of like complete sets and I hate hate breaking uh, bits in the complete set and then you know kind of walking around if I have to drill a hole to tap or something like that and then you know opening up 14 sets looking for you know the size I need to drill and tap a hole so um, but I guess my plan is what I'm going to do is I'm going to maintain these um, Warrior Tenon nitrides. I'm always going to do a, a one eighth inch hole, you know, when I when I start drilling. And probably what I'm going to do is put these drill hogs in. So when I drill the eighth inch hole, I know I have nothing to worry about. If I'm going for a bigger size hole, then I'm going to use the drill hog quarter inch. And then um, kind of finish off, you, you know, the hole to size with the uh, with these. Um, this bed frame stuff is tough. One other thing with the bed frame stuff, um, if you oil while you're drilling, it makes life a lot better. I mean, any moron could say, oh, yeah, yeah, well, who doesn't know that? Well, yeah, that's true. Who doesn't know that? But, I mean, it makes a world of difference if you oil as as you drill rather than just pushing through dry. This, once again, is not really the right oil for drilling. This is, I mean, Super Tech. I think that's just crappy Walmart motor oil. I mean, the whole quart of it is what three, three fifty, whatever they get you over at Walmart for that stuff. Um, but put, you know, just put a little in the squirt can and uh, used it, and it it did a really nice job for me. So um, if you're going to drill, I recommend oiling. Um, obviously, standing on a ladder, drilling holes, all that stuff is dangerous. Um, doing it, and you, you know, a lot of times when you're drilling overhead, right, you don't want to put oil on it because that's going to drip in your face. But, um, so you kind of do it without oil, which, uh, makes, cuts your drill life down dramatically. Um, especially if you're trying to drill near a, a hole, where, near a hole that's already stamped into the angle iron, um, if you're trying to drill, I don't know if you guys could see this, it's um, part of the bed frame where they rivet it together. If you're trying to drill near that, or if you're trying to drill near a weld, even if you're trying to drill where you uh, cut it most of the way and you kind of bent it and snapped it off, that makes the... Um, the angle iron harder in those in those spots so if you're you're trying to drill there you're not drilling oil you're drilling over your head you, you know no matter what wear your safety glasses but if you're doing that like think twice and then wear your safety glasses and then you might also want to have somebody available to take you uh, to the eye doctor to the hospital to get stuff removed from your eyes you know um, God only gave you two eyes, and uh, if you put metal into them, that's like, sucks. I've been to the eye doctor a few times to get little pieces of metal taken out, and since then, I not only wear the um, the goggles, um, so I wear I wear the goggles, and if I have any idea, I'm really pushing my luck. I wear the goggles and a face shield, and I wear. Um, glasses and these glasses are um, have bigger lenses and they're safety glasses so I'm to the point where I'm up to three eye protection and even then every once in a while uh, I'll feel like I'll get something in, into one of my eyes so um, you know don't be stupid 
take care of your eyes and your eyes will take care of you um y- you know you don't you don't need to uh to lose one of your eyes or damage one of your eyes uh, trust me, that's just not fun. All right, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Happy New Year. Please uh, like this video if you do. Um, remember, keep your feet down, keep your head up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.